a former conservative activist who raised concerns with Parliament's authorities over an alleged rape and the toxic Westminster culture has claimed she was ignored. The woman, referred to as Amanda to protect her identity, told the BBC's Victoria Derbyshire programme that after she reported the rape to the police she then had a meeting with the Commons authorities. Amanda claimed she was raped by an employee of a Conservative MP, adding I was raped by someone senior to me in the Conservative Party. It was violent. It wasnt in Westminster, it was in my home, and it should nt have happened. I remember the attack, during the attack. I remember the room disappearing around me and thinking I was going to, Amanda said when the man left her house the next day she was at the police station within an hour and reported the crime. She then had a 25-minute conversation with David Natzler, the House of Commons clerk, as she felt the heavy drinking and driven culture within Parliament had contributed to the alleged attack. She said the parliamentary authorities had informed her that they were passing on her account to the Govern Williamson, then the Chief Whip, and the leader of the Commons Andrea Leadsom. I never received contact from either of them, she said. The parliamentary authorities never followed it up with me either. I heard nothing, she said. While Ms Leadsom told the BBC she had been told about claims of the culture of Westminster, Mr Williamson, who was promoted to Defence Secretary last week, said he was not. Both claim they were not informed of the claims of rape. In a statement to the broadcaster the Commons clerk said the conversation took place. They added the allegation was mentioned but was not the focus of the discussion, as the incident had not taken place on the parliamentary estate, and the activist had not been employed on the estate. There was no question of formally referring the allegations to other House authorities as there was already a criminal case underway. It comes as the leaders of the major political parties prepare for cross-party talks in Westminster on Monday in order to reach an agreement on a parliament-wide anti-harassment procedures. In a letter to the Prime Minister before before the meeting the Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn said political parties should encourage all staff to join a trade union, as they can provide a vital mechanism for strengthening effective action and protection from UAL and other harassment and abuse at work. More about Westminster harassment scandal reuse content